snake, but like, plus snake. Against... <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, oh, I, was, I thought that was snake anyway. So we're gonna get two of the bestest fire emblem sorties in me when yes, I like. Um, yeah, bestie, um, absolutely. So about this matchup, we're definitely gonna see a little bit of just already what we're seeing. Oh my god, what's going on here? This is scary. Did you see this? Like, yeah, no, that's a that's a quick zero to death mm -hmm. from Carflow just finding the edge guard. Yeah. That Roy brings to the table is just so hard for Ike to deal with, right? That's character whose neutral kind of revolves around I'm going to narrate you. And what do I do as a mix up ball? I'm gonna narrate you. And Carflow is doing a fantastic job spacing on that for the most part, but a back grab there is gonna get him put into the corner. He's there's a situation that Icod can take advantage of, but gonna overextend a little bit, and Carflow is gonna put him right back trying to land out. Absolutely, and the thing is too, like we're seeing so much pressure, and when it comes to like Roy, you have to like understand that like you have to force Ro force Roy to stop like you know holding forward. But in this sense, you can't really do that because your only starter is there. Imagine being yeah. able to do something when. Well, it's not your only starter. You also have down tilt. You also have, you know, you also technically can get certain things. I believe off of. I want to say there's a certain percent you can get something off forward air, but I might be making that up. Technically, up tilt is an anti air too, but gonna find the stock there. Just the. Nair up air, gonna take one. So Psycod getting on the board, not gonna be a three stop, but has a ways to go if he wants to bring this one back against Carflow, who's just steamrolling him right now. Absolutely, and the thing about that is that the only way that, you know, Psycod was able to get that stop was mostly because we were seeing a lot of situations where, like, Carflow would just, like, you know, spot dodge. So I guess he kind of, like, caught onto that and just was able to get that Nair in that one situation, but that wasn't really enough to be able to hold out that whole stock. So I definitely feel like we really need to see a little bit more situations where, one, situations where we aren't losing our jump because that's actually why um, Psycod lost their first stock was yep. due to using side B. And, like, we know losing your jump as I, that is not going to be fun. You saw that? Look at that. Second stock. I was going to say, dead. I actually want to, well, never mind. Um, what do you want to say? I, I just wanted to point out here um, on the on the last one, on the on the last edge guard, yeah, uh, the, the, it was the second clip, I believe. But There we go. Yeah. So he he immediately rolls to the out, out here and, and it, the fact that it wasn't buffered with him in the corner looked like a panic option because Carflow just never even stopped holding for it, right? There was nothing to make Psychod really ex expect that a better roll out there was going to find anything. And when you, you can't panic on a mistech against a character who has the speed and frame data that Roy has, right? Because mm -hmm. he can cover all your he can cover you on he can cover you on reaction and you just have to make him think not able to do so and immediately Carflow coming out of the gate with a quick forty six percent the air dodge and not gonna make maybe able to make wow. it back. No, that's gonna be a zero to death opening up again. Carflow just not letting any of his is letting his foot off the gas at all. Absolutely, and the thing is, that's exactly what we're seeing. The same thing happen. Three stops in one set is going to be lost to losing that jump, and I feel like this is something that Psycod really needs to work on if they're going to be able to keep this to a game three, because it's not really looking like that right now. Carflo only has 76% on the board, and Psycod really needs to get something in order to be able to continue this, like, you know, game going. But it's so hard, right? Because Roy is going to play in the same space that Ike wants to, but just has better Better buttons, right? He's better on the ground, he's better in the air, he's got better frame data, better speed. Like, how do you, if, if you're Ike, you have to figure out a way to outspace and slow down this Roy, but you don't really have the tools to do so. Mm -hmm. I think that's also due to Psycod also hurling forward, so it's really, like, hard to be able to kind of contest a character like this when the one thing that you're doing is also holding forward. Yeah, you can't beat holding forward while also holding but forward. But part of that's because Carflow is just off stage positioning alone. That up be gonna do it on the platform. Great flying from um, Psycop using that up the armor to, to find his way through, looking for another starter. But Carflow, right, keeping him in the corner for so much of this game, he kind of has no choice but to hold forward because where does he go to play defense? You know, you're so right. Honestly, I love that. Best. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, so we're gonna continue seeing this game, only 46% being put on the board, and we're seeing maybe a new combo. Okay, that's not gonna have anything, because look at that, just getting I, dropped. Yeah, and I think we're gonna, we might start to eventually see Carflow mix in some more grab mix-ups, uh, because you see, see that Psychot has started to slow this down, play a lot more around shield, let Carflow mash with his unsafe options, and then grab or use the armor on up the out of them to find punishes. Is He's, he's finding ways to start to slow down the pace of this game, but Carflow does have like the same kind of play every character does when you hold kill, which is just grab you. <laughs> <laughs> just like press funny buttons and then kill you. <laughs>
No, exactly. Right now, though, Parflow gonna start a juggle, oh, but that's not able to capitalize even with that platform to help trap Psychot's landing. Gonna start it right back up again. Psychot still can't get to stage, but great air dodge from Carflow to find a way out of disadvantage. A little bit of an American air dodge back, but it's gonna find him stage control for just a second, but the up B, not gonna do it. Absolutely, and right now we're in a very scary situation for Psychot because they're at 101%. It only takes one move, it only takes one back air, one strong hit forward to be able to send Psychot flying, and it's getting really scary right here. Gonna whiff that up B right there, and we are gonna see that back air. And honestly, what we really need to see is a really good combo string right here on the end of Psychot to be able to take this game. Gonna whiff that side B and getting a nice back air off of that combo, but it's getting, it's turning up. The heat is heating. Yeah, I, I know mean, about the way Psychot's playing right now, he definitely has the potential to take this game. Aim, keeping Carflow at the corner for an extended period of time, but one grab is all you maybe need. You have to find a mix-up back to stage, charging the side be gonna allow him to do just that. Sweet spotting that ledge twice now. Out, and you're seeing Carflow start to play a little bit more nervous. He knows if he gets hit by this landing there, that's gonna be it, but all it might be is a jab back here, unless you miss time it. Not gonna be true, and both these players just dropping their kill confirms for just a second there. Absolutely, and this is very, very scary for both these players now, and gonna get that back air, not killing just yet, but we, ooh, that could have definitely been something right there, but we are gonna go back to this very scary situation and trying to read that roll in with the Nair, not gonna get it just entirely yet, and we're, oh, on, I mean, when you're launched at an angle like that as Ike, what, what, you, there's not a whole lot you can do. I'm gonna be honest, I think that was supposed to be a jump, and then they didn't yeah. jump, and they were like, oh my god, what now? No, I'm I, dead. <laughs> I, I, I fully agree with you, but at the same time, there's there's not a whole lot you can do, because when once that jump comes out right, Carflow's gonna sit there on reaction, is able to find, you know, a spike, is able to find, use the disjoint of his sword, or come from above, and, and still find a hit, regardless if, he, if that's what he's looking for, or jump, just drop off with a counter, Right, there's not really a lot that I can do, even if that jump did come out in that situation. Absolutely, and I definitely really liked how Psychod was being able to control that whole thing. But once we started seeing that, like, last minute, that last um, they really need to put that last um, in order to get that, you know, last stock. But unfortunate, that's how it is. We learn and learn and laugh and love and love and live and you know what I, you, yeah. yeah, yeah, live, laugh, love. Live, learn. laugh, and learn, and love, and laugh, and haha, -ha, funny, and yeah. So what you're saying is you gotta dodge, duck, uh -huh. dick, dip. 